Adolescence, an awkward time for many and for some downright troubling. Teens sometimes act out and everyone wonders why, especially when the act is as gruesome as abusing an animal. But most teens agree that it's not okay. His name is Mittens. Mm -hmm. Students come to the Dream House in Baltimore after school and wait in on the matter. I think that other people abusing animals is not right because they're defenseless and they can't fight back against us. I really think like it's just wrong. I think I think it's dumb. Like I don't think it's right. Dogs have feelings too, even even if they can't express it through through speech. The Baltimore Animal Rescue Care and Shelter Center can attest to the volume of abuse cases. And pretty much, you know, a couple times a month we're seeing some kind of abuse case. So it's it's pretty um, whether or not we know who the uh, the the perpetrator is 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 another issue. The Baltimore Mayor's Anti-Animal Abuse Commission has only started tracking information on abuse cases in the past year, but the chair of the commission has seen her share of evidence that teens play a significant part in committing the crime. In the first year, we saw a spike in the summer of, of these abuse cases, and, and I think when kids are out of school, um, we tend to see more of these crimes. The vice president of the ASPCA, who's often called to testify in teenage animal abuse cases, weighs in on the prevalence of teens' involvement. Looking at, at national records, teens seem to account for about 30 percent of the serious animal cruelty cases. And that number probably is an underestimate because a lot of it goes on undetected or unreported. I think probably the reality is the teens are accounting for at least half of the serious animal cruelty cases. What is so disturbing is some of the most egregious cases of animal abuse that we have seen have been perpetrated by juveniles. Some kids hit a puppy with a stick and um, of course the Phoenix case which is most well known where some boys set Phoenix on fire or Mittens case the same thing. Mittens the cat was a victim just this year. Police say two teenage boys from Baltimore City threw a milk crate over this cat, doused her with a lighter fluid and lit her on fire. This is how she looks two months after the attack. Even though her injuries were severe, the shelter chose to rehabilitate her with success. In Mitten's case, who had burns, she was caring for her kitten still. She was eating, she was going to the bathroom, she was showing all these signs that she still had the will to live. An adolescent psychologist says animal cruelty could be the sign of a larger problem. It's not typical behavior um, and it's often indicative of a, a problem with, with conduct disorder. Although she says family trouble and abuse could play a role, it's not the sole contributing factor. Warning signs could be aggression that is persistent um, and really sort of that lack of empathy and lack of concern for others and a lack of concern for the rules. She says treatment works best if these behaviors are caught at an early age and that rehabilitation is a better solution for the teen than time in a detention center. What do I do when I'm bored? I don't go around hurting animals, that's what I don't do. But what I do do in my free time. In Baltimore, I'm Jessica McLeod for CNS TV.